This is a continuation of the Sage Intelligence Report Designer demo. We're going to look at the layouts that come with Sage Intelligence as well as drill down. So when you first run out the report, uh, we've, I've got it set up so that it opens up on this parameters tab where you can enter the fiscal period, change the fiscal year, etc. If we go back to this balance sheet, which we had started, um, I wanted to show you drill down. So if I right click, I can see drill down is on the menu here. So I'm going to click drill down. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me the details of that particular cell. So I'm just going to best fit this here. So 83, 84, 809, 22. These are all the accounts that are making up that range and all the figures, the monthly opening balance and then the net change for periods one through five as specified on the parameter sheet. Looking back at our drill balance, we can see that that ties out to the 83-84-809-22 on the balance sheet. If we want to look further at the transaction late level, we can go to our drill balance and let's just say we want to look further into this bank account visa um, line on line four. So if I right click and I hit drill down again, it's going to actually take us all the way down to the transaction level. Um, unfortunately, this is not a great example because there's only one transaction line and that's the opening balance. Um, if we go to the operating account and drill down, we can look and we can see it's about the same. But if you had multiple transactions, it would actually show you all those lines so you can do some analysis right on Sage Intelligence. I'm going to delete these tabs because I don't need them going forward. I'm going to delete them. All right, so looking at the layout list. So the layouts, these are the generic ones that come with Sage Intelligence. You can also make your own. So I'm going to go to an empty worksheet. I'm going to click on balance sheet and it's going to run out my balance sheet. Remember when you run a Sage Intelligence report designer out, it's going to pull all your transaction data for the year specified at runtime. So here is the generic balance sheet. If I open up, it's set up with uh, like an outline form. If I open up, I can actually see what makes up all these numbers. Okay. Um, if I click on the income statement, let's look at actual budget and prior. We'll just let this go. And then it's going to show me my actual budget set one, prior actual. Um, and so here we are. Once again, it's rolled up by account groups. So if I open this up, it's going to give me all my sales details and all of that. Um, if I click on one of these cells, you can actually see the formulas that are underlying this. If I go to manage, I'm going to click manage. It's going to open up my layout management. If I want to look and see how this balance sheet is done, I'm going to click edit. And we're going to, we need to add the company code here. Sam Inc. Fiscal year. We'll just use 2020 and 2019. Currency is always going to be US dollars in this case. And that should do it. And then I'm going to hit save. All right, so the layout generator, you can see it's already set up. And you can see the row sets are defined here. The layout is going to be account and row description. And then you've got your uh, fixed assets, accumulated depreciation, etc., etc., etc. It's all defined right here. Okay. Um, so that's basically how you set up a financial statement. So if I look at my text columns, you can see it's got the account, the type, and the row, which would be the description of the account. The columns, these are all the columns that you could possibly have in your system. Now, the actuals are year-to-date information, net change, so none of those are going to appear for a balance sheet. 
you can see all the ones that have been selected are in the dark blue. So we've got a column for closing balance period one, two, three, etc. And then prior year information down here, you can see all of those are across the top here. And then my grouping is on the left here. So that's um, real quick how the generic statements work in Sage Intelligence to create these things. Generally, people uh, create their own because they have very specific requirements, but this is a great starting place for your Sage Intelligence reports. And that is how it works.